It's Friday night, and you know what that means. Time for another hour-long wrestling program with Chris Jericho on commentary. Be still my beating apathy. Goodness me, I don't know what I did to deserve this. No, seriously, I don't know what I fucking did to deserve this. Nevertheless, I'm John Renton with my review of AEW Rampage. Rampage, the show that is definitely not destination programming as far as AEW programs go. That being said, they're trying to juice things up. I get it. I know they can't go live every week. You know, even though Tony Khan basically has unlimited capital and could do it, I, I just... Rampage, even when it's live, doesn't really feel like it's necessary to watch live. You can watch it on DVR. You can skip through half of it. And that's not... The, it's not that the talents aren't trying. They are trying to juice things up. But I, it just... It doesn't feel like it matters in the AEW universe. I mean, as far as tiered programming, Dynamite, obviously, number one. I, some episodes of Dark Elevation are almost on par with Rampage. <sighs> anyway, I mean, nevertheless, there were a couple fine moments on this show. Let's get into it. But JR, Excalibur, Shimani, and Jericho on commentary. Look, I get it. I get they're paying Jericho a King's Ransom. I don't know why, because he really hasn't contributed anything positive to AEW programming in a couple of years. But Tony Khan loves him, so let's just pay him more. More than he's goddamn worth at this point. Jungle Boy, whoa, 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 whoa. Jungle Boy Jack Perry taking on all ego Ethan Page with Matt Hardy, Isaiah Cassidy. Is Mark Quinn injured? Genuine question. I don't know. Did he get released from his contract? What happened? And they brought their kid to work. I'm sorry, that's Stokely. I mean, that, that, that's unfair to children, by the way, because kids eventually hit a growth spurt. Stokely never did. So, um, Ethan's antics are becoming tiring. And this is all about Ethan wanting Matt Hardy and Isaiah Cassidy to take the bullet for him. And eventually, uh, we get an appearance by Hook! And that distracts uh, everybody enough. So, Ethan tries to get a uh, roll-up using the ropes, but he grabs Matt Hardy's ponytail. But then Matt Hardy elbows him. Don't grab my 47-year-old ponytail. What the hell's wrong with you? And then Sunset Flip Run 2-3. Yay! Fluky finishes. So we get Ethan yelling at Matt Hardy. You have to join forces with me again. <clears throat> or you have to help me. We must join forces or we will... I don't know. Like, we'll just do whatever. Collect a paycheck. I don't really know what I'm on about. Anyway, they're going to have a tag match against Jungle Hook. Yeah, whatever. At this point, Matt Hardy should not be in the ring. And I don't think Jeff Hardy's going to come back to the ring, nor should he. Anyway, we then get Shivani with Ortiz. What's going on with Eddie? He wants to say it to his face. He wanted to hit a woman? Well, no, you can't do that. What would your mentor say? What would everybody say? What would your mother, your sister, your father say? And Eddie had enough and hit Ortiz with a chair a couple times and left. I have one question, and one thing that would obviously poke every bit of logic out of anything the House of Black are trying to do. Just take every bit of logic and scorch it to the goddamn earth. Eddie, just ask the production truck people to sync up the footage. Hey, you know, Julia Hart pretended that you she was going to, you know, be hit with a chair. That's all you need to goddamn show? But nope, we have sizable leaps in logic, like not being able to queue up the footage. I understand giving Eddie a bit of an edge, edgy as it were, uh, but Eddie's already popular. Why are they doing I, I I don't get it. I, I don't get why they're doing this. Eddie's just losing all his friends and everything. I don't know. I, I just don't understand why they do this. Darby pre-tape. He wants to face Buddy to prove he can beat all members of the House of Black. All right. Willie Mack took on Brian Cage with Prince na 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 hey hey and it was Lucha Underground reunion and it was fine. Willie Mack is talented. He he is talented. I hope that maybe they uh, can use him a bit more. Brian Cage is what he is. Yeah, he can move well for a guy that jacked up, you know, naturally. But come on, he he he's uh, he's also a bit awkward with some of the stuff he tries to do. Drill Claw one two three. Good on Willie Mack for getting on AEW programming. And then the uh, Varsity Twins. I, don't, I didn't catch their names. J Jada and Jordan? Is that it? Did I get it right? They took on Jade. I said Jade and Layla Gray. 
And basically, Layla did all the work, and then Jade got the tag and hit Jaded. One, two, three. Layla looked great. And in that video package on Garcia and Action Andretti, it's time for the main event, which is that match. Look, I don't know why they are making Garcia even more of a goof. Like, the idea that they built it up and, oh, Brian Danielson might have been able to get him to turn. Even if he didn't join the group, he would have been able to go out on his own down the only road he's ever known. And now he's back with Jericho's group, and it's stupid. Sammy joined uh, commentary, speaking of stupid. And this is Sammy and Jericho basically just doing bad comedy, which they are known to do. And act, look, both these guys can work and they're talented enough, but it's going to take a long time, or it's going to take a while for them to really get fully established. Garcia basically is a goof at this point. Action Andretti, he's got enough fans on his side. After that shocking win against Chris Jericho, they're featuring him. So Action Andretti won with the standing shooting star press, and there you go. <laughs> Or running shooting star press, that is. Okay, so Garcia will not replace Sammy in the uh, tag match on Dynamite, which maybe means that eventually we'll get Garcia moving away from Jericho's group, but too little, too late. Anyway, agree, disagree, what I said, like, share, subscribe, Twitter handle in the description. I'm John Ritland. I'll see you soon.